in Cologne, the 4,900 colors, these 196 panels formed one block. They were one painting. Whilst here in London, uh, for the Serpentine, Gerhard chose another version, which is version two of the same work, which is actually 49 um, uh, paintings. Um, so the 196 panels have been put into 49 constellations of four panels. All these different layers are part of the project here because we have the computer, which is the distribution of the 4,900 colors initially. So we have random by computer in the first distribution. Um, we have then random by dice in the way how these 49 panels are arranged, how they actually are always four elements are brought together. And we then have the artist's decision uh, the artist's uh, intervention, so as to say, in the way how Gerhard distributed these 49 paintings, very evenly distributed in the space, with slight moments of asymmetry. 4,900 colours is about the joy of looking. And it's about the joy of looking at objects that, on the face of it, don't have form. And yet, of course, they're full of form. Gerhard Richter, of course, is known for his extraordinary plurality of expression in terms of the art that he makes. He's an artist that really is absolutely distinguished and distinctive for not being limited to any one style or any one means of expression. There is also this inside-outside relationship. There is this very interesting uh, connection, I think, between this whole idea of chance in the painting and um, the way how these 49 paintings appear in the gallery and then the windows with the opening to the park and the whole connection the viewer can have between the paintings and nature outside. In the, in the very beginning, it had to do with pop art. Then I painted after photographs, and I came in the shop for, for, for paint and the painter shop. I saw these little prospects with the color cards. And I thought, oh, how beautiful. And for this, I mentioned, uh, not, uh, some minutes ago, I mentioned Albers. And this was a holy man because he claimed that only special colors go together with others. And this is a high art to bring them together. And I said, no, it's not true. You can put every color to every color. It's a key work, and I think not only Gerhard Röder, but in art history, it's one of the first and the only time ever there is a painting, I mean, I don't know about any other painting actually in painting history, which has this idea of being at the same time one painting, yet there are many different versions. There are um, 11 different versions of how this work can be displayed. And I think that that's one of the great inventions Gerhard made with this work, is that this idea that in a very fragmented moment, in a moment when things are so atomized in, in, in all fields, um, Gerhard on the one hand brings together all the elements in a painting, so there is this coherence of the painting, yet he shows us also that there is this moment of fragmentation, of atomization, that in the future, this work can always be installed in 11 different ways, um, and that obviously the viewer who visits the exhibition here at the Serpentine Gallery, who sees the catalog, can then also start to imagine the 10 other versions, how um, it could be uh, installed.